Welcome back to the next episode of Oak Creek Pottery. This episode is all about clay and the potter's wheel. This clay is called, you have to pardon the goat noises, like that. This clay is called stoneware clay. Comes from the earth, made of mud and stones and all sorts of good stuff. And when you heat it up in the kiln to 2000 degrees, it turns into ceramic. Okay, I bought 200 pounds to start out. Each of these boxes is 50 pounds, and each box comes with two 25 pound bags of clay. So, let's cut into some clay. First thing I'm gonna create is a mug. Just one mug to make sure everything works, to get all my processes right, and that's gonna become a mug that we keep that will never be for sale. This is called a wire tool, hashtag satisfying. Check that out. Cut that in half. Cut that in half again. So I wanna weigh this and each mug should be about three quarters of a pound of clay. 1.2. we'll go with that. So the next thing that you need to do is you have to wedge the clay. This ball of clay is ready to throw. Let's talk about the potter's wheel. So behind the scenes, I've been building out my whole potter's wheel station. This is where the wedged clay is gonna go ready to throw. This is my tools and my water, and this is my wear board. So what you have to do is turn this power switch on right there, and there's a motor mounted underneath here and when you push the foot pedal down, that motor rotates a belt, which rotates the wheel head, just like that. So it is difficult to find a used potter's wheel. These things are built like an army tank and they last forever and people don't generally sell them. I was searching on Facebook Marketplace for a long time and eventually this dude up in Michigan listed this thing for 1200 bucks. I got him down to thousand dollars. Brand new, this model, the Brent C costs anywhere from $1,800 to $2,000 brand new. This aluminum wheel head is rather corroded and it's seen better days. I have sandpaper that's meant for metal and I'm actually gonna try to sand this to clean it up, get this polish looking beautiful and brand new. So with this $1,000 potter's wheel, I don't know how much the total is. I'm gonna to have to add it up and I'll put it right here, right there. That's how much the grand total is to get this pottery studio off the ground. Everything else I am not going to include. The cost of clay, the cost of glazes, those are things that are just part of doing business. But that's the grand total that I got this pottery studio running. Now, I am ready to begin throwing. So this is a big moment for me. I am throwing in my own studio at my own property. Without further ado, I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna focus and concentrate on making a mug. All right, so the first one I messed up. I've done this hundreds and thousands of times before, and I was even thinking about not including that mess up in YouTube and just trying with attempt number two and pretending like that was attempt number one. But you know what? This is real life and this is a real studio and I'm not ashamed. I messed up. Here's number two.
And here it is, my first, well, first successful, what's gonna become a mug. I am gonna put a handle on this thing tomorrow. It has been a full 24 hours since I threw mug number one on the wheel. You need to turn it upside down on the wheel and use a couple tools to make the bottom nice. Watch this. Now we're gonna hold it in place with a little bit of clay. Just pressing the clay down against the wheel. Now I'm gonna keep a hand on top, start trimming away. Now the bottom is trimmed, take this clay away. Now the last major step to finishing a mug is to attach a handle to the side of the mug here. I'm not going to explain everything today. Today is just to get one mug done. I will create video tutorials on how to center, how to throw, how to trim, how to attach handles. I'll do all that in the future. The handle is attached to mug number one. Isn't that beautiful? Now last night after I threw that mug, I, on the potter's wheel, created these four rings. What's the point of a ring? Not very functional. I know that. I need to cut them up into 12 pieces each, and these are going to become something very important for my next video. I do want to tease what this next video is about. And that is down here. What is in all these bags? Huh? Well, it literally says dry glaze. So next video is the glazing video. It's gonna be a good one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and commented and liked all my videos along the way. I'm getting very close to making pottery that I am going to sell. So please continue watching. Follow my Instagram, Oak Creek Pottery, and this YouTube channel for all the updates of what's coming up soon. Thank you.